Hi, it's me, the Tooth Tutor, and I'm here with Elvis today. Hello! To do a super fun book and do a crazy fun experiment with you. <clears throat> the book we have today is called Open Wide Tooth School Inside. It's by Lori Keller, and it is an amazing book and so well illustrated. The whole book is full of things like this. It's a lot of fun, so please um, look at it in a person someday. <clears throat> Open Wide Tooth School Inside by Lori Keller. Good morning, class. Good morning, Dr. Flossman. Eight incisors, four canines, eight premolars, and 12 molars, including wisdom teeth. They are all there. Before the principal's announcements, would you please stand and recite our pledge. I pledge allegiance to this mouth and the dentist who takes care of us and to the gums on which we stand, strong and healthy, with toothbrushes and toothpaste for all. Listen up, class. Good morning, teeth. This is Dr. Fillingston with your daily announcements. Buses are going home. Buses going home today might be a little late because of some bridge work being done. A tube of cherry flavored toothpaste was turned into the lost and found yesterday. The cap is missing. And finally, there will be a dance after the big football game on Friday night between our own two school chompers and the Plaqueville germs. Go Chompers! We're rooting for you! Have a good day! <clears throat> Take your seats everyone. I'm handing back your quizzes from yesterday on what healthy teeth should look like. I must say I'm a little disappointed. The only teeth who passed are the wisdom teeth. We better go over this again. Shiny clean teeth? Good! Holy green teeth? Bad! Let's move on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's what Here's a look at what your teeth are made of. When you're in the gums, the part of you that shows is called the crown. You're covered with a hard layer of enamel that protects you from bacteria and germs. Dentin makes up the biggest part of you. It's not as hard as enamel. Pulp is the softest part. It's what hurts when you have a toothache. That's where your tooth's alive. That's this part. The root is what holds you in place. It's protected by a thin layer of tissue called cementum. Okay, class, we're in for a real treat. Sally Incisor is going to read her report on primary teeth. Primary teeth are also called baby teeth because that's what they are, little bratty baby teeth. They all wiggled around so much that they fell right out of the mouth until there were none of them left. So as permanent teeth moved in instead, we will be there for a lot longer because we don't wiggle around at all. I don't know why those baby teeth were there in the first place. Babies don't even need teeth. You never see them eating corn on the cob or anything like that. So then after that, they go live under a pillow until a tooth fairy lady hauls them off somewhere. And that's all I know about baby teeth. The end. Thank you, Sally. Nice job. But actually, babies do need teeth. Baby teeth are very important for several reasons. They help develop the face and jaw. They help babies chew when they start to eat more solid food. And baby teeth guide guided you permanent teeth into the proper position and keep the mouth healthy and clean. That's really swell, Doc, but who is this fairy of teeth? Hello there, cute little permanent teeth. This is the tooth fairy coming at you all the way from Toothland. It's my job to bring all of the baby teeth here. When a baby tooth falls out, it gets placed under a pillow, which I've never understood. I practically suffocate sometimes trying to get it. After I take the tooth, I replace it with a little surprise usually money, and then I tuck the tooth under my wing and we're off to Toothland. Well, that's all for me. Oh, I almost forgot. There's a free molar coaster ride on Tuesday night, so stop by Toodley Tooties. <clears throat> we want to go to Toothland. We want to go to Toothland. Settle down, teeth. You can't go to Toothland. You're needed here. Oh, come on. Don't look so down in the mouth. We're going to the School of Dentistry a week from Friday. But right now it's almost time for lunch, so let's break up into our four groups. <clears throat> Incisors, they're the food cutters. The food terrors are canines. These are your four front teeth in your, um, on your top and your bottom. And these are the ones in the corners, your canines. <clears throat> the food crushers are premolars. And they're what takes the place of baby molars. Food grinders, <clears throat> Or the back teeth, your molars. Get in there and eat, class. 
This is the cafeteria. It is very silly. These illustrations are awesome. And recess. Well, well, well. It looks like you all had a good lunch, but stay strong and healthy. It's important to brush after meals. So what do you say we take out our toothbrushes and floss and clean ourselves up? <clears throat> all right then, class, since you don't want a brush, why don't we open our books to the chapter on tooth decay? That's cavities. Tooth decay is caused by bacteria. Bacteria likes to eat sugar. Candies and cookies have one kind of sugar and foods like fruit, bread, pasta, and milk have no other kinds of sugar. Bacteria eat all kinds, especially those that stick to teeth. Not very sticky things are apples, bananas, and hot fudge sundaes. Sort of sticky is white bread, caramels, and cream-filled sponge cake. Pretty sticky are jelly beans, plain donuts, and raisins. Super sticky are granola bars, oatmeal cookies, and potato chips. When lots of bacteria build up on teeth, that's known as plaque. Plaque eats right through the enamel, and plaque keeps eating. If it keeps eating, it only means one thing, a cavity. That's more like it. Teeth, get that bacteria. <clears throat> Dr. Flossman, my cousin got a cavity once, and he cried and cried like a big baby. Well, Bubba Muller, a cavity can be painful, but a dentist can fix the cavity by drilling a hole in the damaged area of the tooth clearing away the bacteria and putting a hard filling in, then it won't hurt anymore. And it's perfectly normal for a tooth to be frightened the first time it gets a cavity. Here are some common reactions. Shock, panic, depression, self-pity, fear, anger, blame, denial, acceptance. When a cavity is too small to see, a dentist will take an x-ray. An x-ray can show the inside of a tooth. <laughs> that is not what an x-ray looks like, but you know what it looks like because I showed you. <clears throat> it makes cavities easy to see. Cavities are dark on x-rays. Don't worry, teeth. Brushing with fluoride toothpaste and flossing keeps away most plaque, but if you should but you should visit the dentist once or twice a year for checkups. <clears throat> twice a year. Um, to make sure you're healthy and clean. An important reminder about dentists. A good dentist cleans and polishes teeth and gives them a new toothbrush. A bad dentist skips work to play golf and send his brother the construction worker to take his place. It's very silly. <clears throat> Sometimes, if teeth are crooked, a dentist will put braces on them to make them straight. If a tooth gets broken, the dentist can repair it with a tooth-colored plastic and make it look like new. Class, I need to speak to the wisdom teeth for a minute in the hallway, but when I get back, be ready to give your reports on teeth through history. Listen, I really enjoyed having you wisdom teeth in class, but I'm not gonna pull you out, or but I'm going to pull you out and send you to higher learning. You already know all of this stuff and you're probably bored out of your minds. You are the last four teeth in the mouth, but by far the wisest. Go forth and do great things. This is my favorite part. <clears throat> Ancient Egyptians believed that a mixture of onions, spices, and incense would cure a toothache. In the ninth century, Mayans filed their teeth into different shapes and decorated them with jewels. In 1570, Queen Elizabeth received a gift of six gold toothpicks to clean her teeth. In the early 1600s, Japanese women blackened their teeth to show loyalty to their husbands. In the Middle Ages, Apollonia became the patron saint, patron saint of dentistry. She said if someone with a toothache mentioned her name, the pain would go away. In the 1500s, people could get their hair cut, wounds treated, and teeth pulled by a barber. Would you go to your hairdresser for dental care? I wouldn't, probably. George Washington, the first president of the United States, had lots of dental problems. By 1796, he had lost all but one of his teeth. He had dentures made of elephant, ivory, hippopotamus tusks, and cow teeth, not wood as you may have heard. The dentures had sharp hooks, screws, and springs that made it hard for him to smile. Excellent job, Teeth. I am so proud of you. Well, rinse, gargle, and spit in a cup. We're done for the day, Teeth. So I'll see you back here tomorrow now. And don't forget your, your homework. And don't forget to brush. The end. This book is so much fun. I'm very grateful. We hope you enjoyed that book. It's one of our favorites. Um, so our fun experiment today is elephant toothpaste. Have you ever made it? 
we didn't until today. So the first thing we want to do is to put some dish soap in this bottle. Then we need half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. A little more actually. We have a funnel so that we can get it in there. We need hmm, a few drops of food coloring. We need to put two tablespoons of warm water into some yeast. And give it a good mix. Oh my gosh, a funnel would be helpful. Oh boy. Look at it. <laughs> oh my goodness, is that crazy? Of course you would never actually use this for toothpaste because there's soap in it. You don't want to put soap in your mouth. Hydrogen peroxide isn't great either for our kids, for sure. Look at that. So, and something cool or warm is that it's an exothermic reaction, so it creates heat when all of those things get mixed together. <laughs> And it just keeps going and going. Is that so much fun? I would love to know if you could try this at home. I will put the ingredients, um, the recipe for it in the um, description below. And don't forget to subscribe or to pop by and see our video next week too. Um, goodbye for now. For Kimmy the Tooth Tutor and Elvis. Bye!